Welcome back to Magna Carta 2, and today we'll continue on with the main quest, which is uh, going to be talking to Celestine in her house. Um, so we'll head right there right now and get on with this. The uh, quest that she had us do was to collect uh, mushrooms, collect uh, spores, mere spores, and then get an antidote which we have all that, so did you collect everything? Yes, we have everything. Energy wonder potion. Okay guys, let's start brewing that potion! Okay, all done! Here, you drink it first, Targo! Why him? We all gathered those ingredients. I'll make yours later, Juto. Okay? Hey, now. What's with the split personality? I'll let Juto have the first go. Argo! You're ignoring my devotion to you? Hmm. <sighs> Tell me this is more of their fishy medicine. I don't know. I'm not feeling particularly different. Uh, what's wrong? Why isn't my love potion working? <gasps> the love potion? <laughs> um, well, you see, that is, I... Uh... You sent us out so you can make this weird stuff? Aw, oh, come on. Argo's such a cold fish. What's the deal? Why isn't it working on Argo? It seems the potion has no effect on Trewa. Well, if it had worked, it would have been an interesting show. <laughs> yeah, well, just you wait and see. I'll get it to work next time. There won't be a next time. How dare you use us to do your dirty work? Oh, come on. I wasn't planning to have you drink it, Juto, so what's the big deal? Ah! Hmm. Let's get some rest. Wake up, everyone! There's trouble! Now what? The Northern forces are marching on Navy Blue Marsh! What? What's the situation? We Mare have gone out to intercept them, but they're driving us back with their numbers. We could probably buy some time if we use paralyzing incense, but we don't have a lot prepared. Hurry up and get ready, everyone. Let's provide backup for the Mare. You... you would help us? We'll see your village safely through this, no matter what. Thank you! I'll fight with you! You will? You can fight? I might not look it, but I'm a village defender. Healing wizardry is my specialty. That will be a big help. I've always been the only one I know who could use healing wizardry. You can count on me! Alright, so... We gotta defeat the northern forces. Let's see, who do we want in this formation? I'm gonna take Purcell out and I'm gonna add Celestine. She is a bit lower level, so I need to get her up. I'm gonna keep her using her aroma too. So, uh, you know what? Since she has the heal healing, let's uh, put the fan on Zephy. If we already set it with a quick with enhancements, so it should be good to go. Our map marker sending us north. So let's get on up there. Probably gonna be somewhere near okay, it's just outside. Huh? 
Huh? What is an ice wall doing here? The village wizards made it in a hurry to halt the enemy's advance. We blocked the path to Old Fox Canyon, but we couldn't block Dunan Hill in time. In that case, we should concentrate our efforts on Dunan Hill. Well, since the Northern Army's invasion route is one way, I'd say the odds are seriously in our favor. No way are we gonna lose! Wow, you're really fired up. You bet I am. Argo and I are gonna smash those guys with our lovey-dovey attack. Argo, we're saved. You two have a lovey-dovey attack. <laughs> I love Crusoe. This dude is so funny. If you're tired, I can take it from here. This is just a scratch. I'm not good at holding back. Sorry. Are you sure you're okay? Leave it to me. Go to Jinto and Fever. Do I have a new frostbite? Yes, I do. Let's get that off of you. Double swiftness. Got stamina up. Attack up. Experience gain 10% up. That's nice. Very nice. Put the I want to put the on. Uh, put the power on Juto. Then I'll put the stamina on Celeste. Oh, she doesn't have any points. And I'm also gonna give her the experience belt, so. Now, once you to heals, you be good to go. AI is not very smart. In Yeah. 
keep quiet. It's natural that we help each other. Yeah. I'm sure to work on this guy. Leave it to me. What? What? Armored beast that way, and we got another guy over here. So let's All right, out first. let's go. What? 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 Oh, we have a werewolf up there as well. Pretty good. Yes. What? What? All right, let's go. I avoided the attack. Huh? Be strong. I'll take care of this. Okay. You should stay back. Sure. I'll support you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's going to take a bit longer. Going. All right, let's go. This is just a scratch. To a save killer, but we need to get over here and save these Mari real quick. Don't let them die. This is my power. What? My blade should be enough. Evaluate the situation calmly.
head back south down over here because I want to kill all these people. I saw it work well. This is just a scratch. I'm gonna be strong. So. All right, let's go. What? Yeah. This is my fate. This is my power. Work on this guy. Leave it to me. I think that's everything on there. So let's head back north. Series to Mari. So do we want to go left or further left? Let's hit the uh, save first. Okay. Or not. Because I do not want to fight. Did it? Um, actually, I, I do want to go further left. <laughs> Yes! Too slow! I can see what you're doing! Yes! Don't forget to get your uh, chain breaks in. That's why I keep swapping characters so much right now. That way I keep my attack up even after I over go into overdrive or overheat. Okay, so we got some type of monster up here, it looks like. Or no, it's that guy. Okay. 
Huaren? Huaren? It's been a long time, Huaren. Huaren. I see that you're still personally leading the troops on the front line, princess. In that last battle, it looks like our sentinel suffered a resounding defeat. Say now, could that mean you've uncovered the sentinel's weak spot? That's right. They're not going to walk all over us anymore. Well, it's not smart to tell them that you know. Perhaps, but the price has been paid by Highwind Island. The island. What have you done to it? <laughs> you see. Don't you dare lay a hand on the islanders. What will you do about it? You can't even control your own power. Judge for yourself. If I'm a failure. All right, let's go. Fragment of chaos. So I guess these are his arms. Be strong. Prioritize healing, balance attack and spells, heal if necessary. Get magic so it's at each target, new skills. Let's go with uh, leader's target for right now, maybe? Yeah. We'll go for leader's target and then prioritize healing. Leader's target. Alright. So, good thing about uh, Navy Blue Marsh and using uh, this is my thing. She's, uh she uses water magic, so the uh, the natural attribute con of the area always keeps her at two, at the bare minimum. If you look up there next to the uh, map, you see the water at the So, she's always going to have at least two con, which is perfect for heal. Yes, I think for heal is next to two. My power is stronger than this. What? Sure, I'll be right over. You can't not value lives. It's natural that we help each other. What? 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 Okay, so he summoned some stuff while he heals, I guess. This is good so we can get uh, uh Jupiter's strength con back up here. I'm only down to three, almost four. Now, who are, you are in his back? He didn't recover. Like. He just keeps attacking me. This is my face! I can back you up anytime. Prepare yourself. Yay! I'm 
gonna be strong. So I'm not really trying to use a uh, Celestine as much here. Mostly because I want to keep her healing. Oh, oh, she died. And she died. Darn it. Alright. So, the one time I swap to her, she dies. This is just a scratch. But if I can get back to her, I can get her up. Yeah, she should heal herself. Summon more stuff. Kill those things as fast as possible, it seems like. I haven't had such an amusing time in ages. I look forward to our next meeting. <laughs> I, don't get a, I don't get what's up with this dude's body. Okay, let's mop up what's left of their grunts. So I guess he ran awesome. away. Awesome! The northern forces are being forced back! Zephy is out too far ahead. She could find herself surrounded by the enemy. Juto, let's support the princess. Yeah, let's go. Look, doom scenes. What? Uh, my con, doom seeds. Must not allow her to be killed. Okay, Jedi Master Juto. J Juto. Or Sith Lord Juto. Princess. Do, do you have any idea what you just did? Calm down, Crosell. You expect me to stay calm after that? Juto! You turned your sword to the princess! 
You're wrong. Uh, I was... You're out of your mind! Calm down, Krosal. Juto saved my life back there. But he put your life in danger, too. It's like he was a totally different person a second ago. But I didn't do it on purpose. Acting like it was nothing, huh? Like I said, I didn't do it on purpose, okay? I don't want this power either. I'm tired of being treated like a freak. <laughs> I bet you lost control because you were so intensely focused on defeating the Northern Forces soldiers. The same thing happened to me when I fought Elgar. <laughs> what I did was inexcusable, Princess. Uh... No, Juto. If you hadn't come to my rescue when you did, I would have been in serious trouble. That's right. If it weren't for Juto, Zethi might have died. Still... To be honest, the Juto I saw back there was scary. It's like you were a different person. I'm... I need to make this perfectly clear. Juto, I'll admit that you have talent. I definitely have to give you props for your ability. We need somebody like you in the unit. But I have to be honest. Your power isn't normal. It's nothing at all like the power the princess has. Your strength is... It freaks me out. Just what the hell are you? <laughs> Crisel, I think it's best if those questions wait until after Juto gets his memory back. Thanks to him, we were able to defeat the Sentinels, right? I agree. Juto is one of our own. All right, fine. I don't think he's one of the bad guys, either. In any case, we saw Kotamare through the battle. We were victorious! Yeah, thanks, everybody! I bet the Chief is gonna be happy, too! <laughs> Once again... We find ourselves in your debt. You have our heartfelt thanks. Not at all. Anyone would have done the same thing. The Mare would like to do something to repay your friendship and kindness. We thought that we might accept your kind offer and form an alliance with you. Yes. Gladly. It will be an honor. It is all that we Mare can do just to protect this humble village and keep it safe. However... We will render any assistance we can. We're grateful. I would like you to take Celestine with you. Appearances to the contrary, she is an excellent warrior of Kotamare. I'm sure she will prove useful. It'll be a pleasure. Actually, I badgered the chief all day yesterday and finally got her to give in. Because I want to go wherever Argo goes. You will be putting your life at risk on the battlefield. Are you sure? You bet! I'm a guardian of the Mare people! <sighs> Isn't that great, right, Argo? Mm. Celestine. Hmm? The time has come to tell you the truth about your parents. My parents? You are fully aware that your father was a human, I take it. Yeah, I know. I was told that he died. In truth, your father completely vanished to parts unknown quite a long time ago. It is not certain what happened to him or if he is alive or dead. You mean he's missing? Fifteen years ago, your father wandered into Kotamari, gravely wounded, and collapsed in Navy Blue Marsh. It was your mother who brought him to the village, cared for him, and nursed him back to health. In almost no time, the two were married, but your mother died soon after your birth. It must have been too painful for your father to go on living in Kotamare without her. He entrusted you to my care when you were still just an infant, and then left Kotamare. He has not been seen by anyone since that day. 
He was apparently a mercenary. But in this time of war, who is to say if he has survived the fighting? My papa! He might still be alive? The man's name is Vizen. I'm told that before coming here, he had no family and lived in solitude. Vizen, you say? Not Vizen the Silver, by any chance? Argo, you know him? I've heard of him from fellow mercenaries. Vizen is a rare name. If your father was a mercenary, he might be Vizen the Silver. Apparently, he got the name from the color of his hair. Hmm. Your father also had a brilliant silver mane of hair. I see. So Papa was a mercenary. I realize that all this must come as a shock to you. I always knew the day would arrive when you would be overcome with curiosity and want to leave us for a time. Search for your father or do not search for him. The choice is yours. Now, go. I expect that you will gain much on this journey. Yeah. Chief, thank you for looking after me. Also, there is one other thing. This should prove useful to the Southern Army. You have been to the Undersea Tunnel once before. In fact, the tunnel connects to opposite. What? There was that path behind my house that led to the Undersea Tunnel, right? If you take the other path from there, it leads to Dunan Hill. Hmm. A secret route, huh? There's a Northern Forces stronghold on Dunan Hill. If that's true, then we can get to Kotamari from Abazet using the Undersea Tunnel route. We could launch an attack without the Northern Forces realizing what we're up to. Exactly. At the moment, that is all we can do for you. It's more than enough. Thank you so much. I promise you, we will drive the Northern Forces off of Dunan Hill and bring peace back to Kotamare. We are grateful. Let Celestine be your guide to the Undersea Tunnel. Leave it to me! Alright, so... Now I guess we'll be going to the Undersea Tunnel again. Okay! We're up to the tunnel! But before that, there's something that I should do. Now what? Another love potion? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to drink one too? <laughs> Actually, the gate between the Undersea Tunnel and the path to Abazet is locked. So, in order to open the gate, we're gonna need to get special incense and bottles to keep it in. Why is that? The gate is sealed by an ancient Mare soul. If we don't burn fragrant incense for the ancestor, he won't open the gate for us. You burn various kinds of incense at the altars. You have to pay close attention to the color of the incense. If you get it wrong, the ancestor won't answer us. Is this stuff true? Hey! The Mare people never lie! Yeah? How about that love potion? Let's go find what we need. He's right! Juto and Zephy, can you take care of something else for me? What is it? Kota Mare always has a mysterious fragrance, right? That's because we place incense in various spots in the village. Mostly, we put out incense that refreshes you. Doing that was my job. I won't be able to do it anymore after I leave. So, I want to put out incense as my last job here. I'm gonna go with Argo and Crocelle to get ingredients, so I want you two to do it for me. I'll do it! Nothing doing! I want Juto to do it! You're coming with us! What the hell? You're always sticking me with the crappy jobs! Okay, let's go! All right, and that's where we're going to end it for today, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.